Hello there to all my little learners. Today I am here with my bag of stories. So let's see what we chance upon today. Mm. Oh wow, it's a bird. So let me start with the personal sharing. Let me tell you something very interesting. It so happened once that I was speaking to my niece Saisha about who her friends are and she went on and on about Vanya, Ahan and Aditya. So I asked her, why does she like them so much? And to my surprise, she said, Vanya is cute, you know, and Ahan praises me a lot and Aditya because he is helpful and kind. And this made me think, is it true that we like a person because of the person's qualities and not what he or she looks like? You know why I'm sharing all this with you? It's only because we have a poem which talks about the same. Let's see what our bird, the crow, has to say. So here we go. The name of our poem is The Crow. There once was a crow. He was black, as you know. How to be beautiful, he wanted to know. Colourful feathers, he wanted to grow. He found one peacock feather. He stuck it in his tail. He then found another. He picked up all without fail. He stuck them in his wings. Put one on his head. I am now beautiful, he danced and said. The other crows laughed at him. Oh, what a fool you are. You are beautiful in black. We love you for what you are. So as we saw, it's not the color of the skin that matters, but the happy colors we spread in one's lives. Meaning, it's how we behave and our good qualities that matter. And you know why? I love you all. It's because of your qualities. I know it that you all are happy and helpful students. And you must have seen that your friends, relatives and people around you all have different skin tones, skin colors. But does that matter? Absolutely right. It doesn't matter because it's the quality of a person which matters. Always remember, Real beauty of a person isn't in his or her skin color, but it lies in his or her good qualities. And since we talked about the crow, tell me what qualities a crow has. Yes, it's shiny, has black feathers, mm, is intelligent and yes, they are good learners. Now let's see how it sounds like. Yes, but you see, every bird looks different, sounds different and that's what makes it special and unique. Everyone, be it an animal, insect, bird or humans is unique. Let's look at some. So, a rabbit is white, adorable, fluffy, calm and clean and... It loves to hop around and a sparrow has such a beautiful chirp. It is so tiny. It is a 4 to 8 inches cute little bird. They have become extinct now. It's a matter of worry and we should all think about it. Now, similarly, think about the qualities your friends possess. Are they kind, helpful, calm, etc.? Now, let's put our thinking caps on to answer these questions. Which bird do you see around your house or near your school? What do you like about the crow? As we have discussed it before, Try to recall and answer these questions. Moving on to sight words now. 
Let's go through the sight words that we came across. They are once, as, how, to, one, be, now, at, all, it. Now let's make some sentences using them. This isn't a bad idea at all. How to be good at yoga. I saw it just once. Come to the room now as it's raining outside. Let's look at some new words and try to make meaningful sentences out of them. New words, colorful, feather, wings, picked, fool, love, beautiful, peacock, another. Now let's make some sentences out of them. I saw a colorful peacock. Isn't this a beautiful feather? I love my country. I wish I had wings to fly. We should never fool people. The boy picked the right ball. Let's move to the next exercise. Let's identify the birds in the box. Wow! Such colourful different birds we see. Look, we have a swan. It's a beautiful picture of a swan. Can you now identify the birds in the box? Let's identify and write. Now, would you like to know what my favourite bird is? It's a parrot. Isn't it cute and colourful? That gets me to an idea. Why don't we draw our favourite bird and write its name? So let's draw our favourite bird and write the name. Don't forget to draw green grass etc. in the background and don't forget to colour it. Now close your eyes and listen to the words carefully. Repeat the words after me and clap at each syllable of the word. P Cock Peacock Fair The Feather View Tea Full Beautiful Ka La Full Colorful A Na The Another I hope you didn't forget to clap at each syllable. Now it's rhyme time. Let's do this exercise. I will read the word from column A and complete the word in column B that rhymes with it. I will be doing the first one for you. Similarly, you go ahead and do the rest. Now remember, the words in column B should be the names of birds. Grow, crow. Carrot, pen, arrow, block. Let's now make sentences using these words from the word train. Make the sentences using one word from each compartment. The words are Today Next compartment I We Rajni She Harish Next one Will go to a village, school, park, farm, theatre. So this is how we do it. For example, Today I will go to a village. The sentence becomes, Today I will go to a village. Here's another one for you. Today, Rajni will go 
to a park. So the sentence is today Rajni will go to a park. Today we will go to a school. Today we will go to a school. Today she will go to a park. Today she will go to a park. Or it can also be today she will go to a farm. Let's do the last one. Today Harish will go to a theatre. Today Harish will go to a theatre. I hope you liked our word train and enjoyed the sentence right we took you on. With that we come to the closing. Hope you all enjoyed a lot and understood how we are all unique and special in our own way. So bye from me and all the new friends you came across in the poem today. Stay happy, stay blessed and shine bright. Mm -hmm.